Human beings were not made in God's image. We are great apes, members of a family that includes chimpanzees, bonobos, gorillas, and orangutans. The most recent common ancestors of this family were inveterate tree climbers. Our lineage took a different path, walking out of the forests and into surrounding woodlands and grasslands, often near lakes and rivers. The cradle of humanity was a new ecology in which we stopped climbing, began walking upright, and pursued a nomadic lifestyle. After splitting off from our closest living relatives six or seven million years ago, an early and prolific member of our lineage was Australopithecus. This diverse genus evolved roughly four or five million years ago, persisted for millions of years, and radiated into numerous species. Although they walked on two legs like us, the brains of Australopiths were no bigger than those of modern chimpanzees or our last common ancestor with them. Nearly two million years ago, one Australopith species evolved into Homo erectus. Erectus was perhaps the first ape with a valid claim to be called human. With a body designed to walk long distances, it forged a novel lifestyle of hunting and gathering. Erectus also had a much larger brain than its predecessors, which gave it the behavioral flexibility needed to explore and occupy novel environments. It may have been the first species among our ancestors to not only use tools, but also construct them as a matter of course, ushering in a new era of advanced technology and expertise. Roughly 800,000 years ago, Erectus produced Homo heidelbergensis, a missing link between anatomically modern humans and more primitive ancestors. Heidelberg had a larger brain than Erectus. It was behaviorally even more flexible than its forerunner, thanks in part to a longer childhood and adolescence, and it constructed new forms of material technology. Heidelberg gave rise in turn to even larger brain and more prolific descendants, including Neanderthals, and the more recently discovered and much less famous Denisovans, both born on the Eurasian continent. Neanderthals and Denisovans are our long-lost cousins. We can all trace our ancestry to Heidelberg forebears in Africa no earlier than 800,000 years ago.